Plans to build a downtown Green Bay Walmart store may be dead, but the question is what happens next? The Green Bay City Council members voted 6 to 5 early this morning, basically denying Walmart's request to buy a to build rather a one-story supercenter. Now that project was planned for the property on the Broadway district known as Larson Green. Fox 11's Bill Miston joins us now and Bill, what's the latest for anything with that property? Michelle Green Bay's mayor says the city is ready to take over the property from On Broadway Incorporated. The city backed a loan for the property's purchase in 2007, and that loan is now coming due. But how long will it take to see something happen? Tonight, we have multiple views. Since my parents bought this place in 1975, there was Schneider Transport, Dean Distributing, Larson's, Fairmont Dairy and Northwest Engineering, we're all here. But now it's vacant buildings and open land. The same view for Lenny's tap owner, Marty Leonard, for years. It's been said that the city has plans and people lining up to get in there. Well, where were they last year? Where were they six months ago when it all started? How long is this property going to sit vacant? Well, again, when we have some control over that property, um, it's still, it's going to take a couple years before we find the right development. I mean, things take time. At least three years to find the right developer. But Schmidt says getting a grocer to commit to a downtown store. We are close. Is much closer. Some of the people were waiting to see the decision that was made last night, and that's something that we'll follow up on. Does that mean that this other group is interested in that property specifically? We talked about that site. Mm -hmm. There's one that's interested in what's a much smaller section of that property, right? I mean, it's not. Here's like don't need 15 acres to build a grocery store. We're proud of how we've carried ourselves and how we've marketed that property. Anyone who says that's just looking for an excuse to take a shot at on Broadway. On Broadway's executive director Chris Nauman says the property's monthly loan interest payments total more than $11,000. Right now, as it sits, you don't think on Broadway is going to be able to make that balloon payment once the bank comes knocking and no, expires? No, there, there's no way it's feasible. I mean, we could have farmers markets for 30 years and not have enough. So it is what it is. So we're just going to keep working through the process. On Broadway says despite last night's city council vote, the ball is still in Walmart's court. Walmart has a purchase agreement for the property, which doesn't expire until August 25th. However, a Walmart spokesperson was noncommittal when asked if the company would come back with a new proposal.